Hey there guys, my name's Amit and welcome to DevDreamer. So then, in this lesson, we're taking a look at the syntax of HTML, and that just basically means how HTML is written, and also we're going to be looking at the document structure of a HTML file. So all HTML files start life out as a basic shell, and I'm going to be showing you how to write that. And as you see, it is very, very simple. So in the previous lesson then, we looked at uh, text editors, so you should now have your text editor downloaded um, and you should now be ready to start writing some HTML. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a new folder on our desktop. So do right click, new folder, and I'm just going to rename this um, HTML lessons. You can call it anything you like. Now the reason we're creating this folder is because this is where our HTML file is going to live. And as you'll see further down the line, when you start learning other languages such as CSS and JavaScript, you see that you're going to be keeping all your files in the same folder. Now, technically for this example, we don't need to create a folder because we're only working with a single file, a single HTML file. Um, however, it is good to get into the practice of, uh, of doing this. So then we've got our folder and now we need to create our HTML file. And to do this, we simply need to open up our text editor. So go ahead and open up your text editor. We're using brackets in this tutorial. And what we want to do is we want to create our file in here, our um, HTML file, and then we want to save it into this folder. So let's just open this up, and of course it's blank, there's nothing in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to create that HTML file here, and then we're going to save it into this folder. So in your text editor, go to File, and then New, or you can do the keyboard shortcut Command N on a Mac. I believe it's Control N on Windows. And then what you want to do is you want to save this and you want to make sure that you're saving it within that folder we created. So it's HTML lessons. So we'll double click that. And now you want to save this file as index.html. Now the .html probably makes sense because of course we're writing HTML, so we can use the HTML file extension. But why index? Well, most websites don't just have a single page, they have multiple pages. And so the browser needs to know which page to go to as a sort of default. And so that's why we use index.html um, to let the browser know which page to go to first. So save it as index.html and then click on save. So as you can see then we've got our index.html file now within our folder and if we go back to our text editor we can see that here on the left hand side we've got index.html. So then now that we've got our HTML file created we can now start writing our HTML code. And so the first thing we're going to look at then is syntax. In other words, how is HTML actually written? So if you recall from previous lessons, we said that HTML is all about putting elements onto a web page. And the way that we write those elements is through the use of tags. So you have an open tag and a closing tag. Let's take a look at an example. So the opening tag consists of a less than sign. And then the name of the tag, let's just go for P, which stands for paragraph. And then a more than sign. So what we have here then is an opening tag and a closing tag. Now you'll notice I didn't actually have to write this out, Brackets did it for me. Um, and that's actually going to be a really big help for you um, because you'll see that it really speeds up the process of coding. But as you can see then we've got a opening tag here and a closing tag here. And the difference between the two is basically this forward slash. So they look basically identical, only difference is this forward slash here for the closing tag. So let's take a look at another example. Um, so let's go for um, a H1, which stands for heading one. So we'll do our opening tag. So we've got less than sign, H1, and then more than sign. And again, as you can see, we have our opening tag and our closing tag. And again, for the closing tag, before we write the actual element, we need to put this forward slash in. So that's basically how you write elements in HTML. The other thing to know about HTML is that HTML is actually a nested language, meaning that you can actually have elements within elements. So for example, we can have div, and don't worry if you don't know what any of these are, we'll look at these later on. And inside our div, we can have, um, let's say we can have a paragraph. And here we can just say, hello world. So as you can see then here, We've got our div tag, and then inside the div tag, we have our paragraph tag. Okay, so that's the basics of HTML syntax. Now then, let's take a look at how to write our first HTML file. So we're gonna look at the document structure of a HTML file. So the first thing we need then is we need something called a declaration. Okay, so we need to tell the browser that this is a HTML file. And the way that we do that is less than sign, 
exclamation mark, and then the word doc type, which stands for document type, and then space, and then the word HTML, and then finally a more than sign. Okay, so this basically just, just declares that this is a HTML file that we're working with. Okay, so before you do any HTML coding, you actually need to put this in first. Now let's go on to a new line. And now we're going to write our first HTML tag. And that is HTML. So let's do our opening tag and then the closing tag. And then what we do is just, if you just press enter, so it actually bring it down to a new line. Now within our HTML tags, we need two other tags, and those are the head tag, and finally, the body tag. Now notice a few things. Everything is contained within our HTML tags. We have our head tag, and we have our body tag. Notice also that the head tag and the body tag are next to each other. So for example, the body tag isn't inside the head tag, and the head tag isn't inside the body tag. So these two tags here are known as siblings, and the parent would be HTML. And this is a basic HTML document structure. Okay, so let's go over it again. So you've got your doc type, then you have your HTML tags, and then within your HTML tags, you have the head tag and the body tag. And we'll look at exactly what these are used for a bit later on. But let's just put something into the body section here. So I can just press enter, and let's put in paragraph tag, which is P. Let's just say, hello world. And I'm going to use the live preview button, which will open up the browser. And oh, we just need to save it. And as you can see there, it says, hello world. So this is how you write a basic HTML file. In fact, all HTML files will start life out like this. They'll have a doc type. And then next we'll have the HTML tags, and then inside those you'll have the head tag and the body tag. Okay guys, so that's how to write HTML and create a basic document structure. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.